morning. It's Friday, June 25th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Prophet with a Broken Heart, and the scripture is Lamentations chapter 2. The Lord in his anger has cast a dark shadow over beautiful Jerusalem. The fairest of Israel's cities lies in the dust, thrown down from the heights of heaven. In his day of great anger, the Lord has shown no mercy even to his temple. Without mercy, the Lord has destroyed every home in Israel. In his anger, he has broken down the fortress walls of beautiful Jerusalem. He has brought them to the ground, dishonoring the kingdom and its rulers. All the strength of Israel vanishes beneath his fierce anger. The Lord has withdrawn his protection as the enemy attacks. He consumes the whole land of Israel like a raging fire. He bends his bow against his people as though he were their enemy. His strength is used against them to kill their finest youth. His fury is poured out like fire on beautiful Jerusalem. Yes, the Lord has vanquished Israel like an enemy. He has destroyed her palaces and demolished her fortresses. He has brought unending sorrow and tears upon beautiful Jerusalem. He has broken down his temple as though it were merely a garden shelter. The Lord has blotted out all memory of the holy festivals and Sabbath days. Kings and priests fall together before his fierce anger. The Lord has rejected his own altar. He despises his own sanctuary. He has given Jerusalem's palaces to her enemies. They shout in the Lord's temple as though it were a day of celebration. The Lord was determined to destroy the walls of beautiful Jerusalem. He made careful plans for their destruction, then did what he had planned. Therefore the ramparts and walls have fallen down before him. Jerusalem's gates have sunk into the ground. He has smashed their locks and bars. Her kings and princes have been exiled to distant lands. Her law has ceased to exist. Her prophets receive no more visions from the Lord. The leaders of beautiful Jerusalem sit on the ground in silence. They are clothed in burlap and throw dust on their heads. The young women of Jerusalem hang their heads in shame. I have cried until the tears no longer come. My heart is broken. My spirit is poured out in agony as I see the desperate plight of my people. Little children and tiny babies are fainting and dying in the streets. They cry out to their mothers, we need food and drink. Their lives ebb away in the streets like the life of a warrior wounded in battle. They gasp for life as they collapse in their mother's arms. The fall of Jerusalem in 587 B.C. was unimaginable to its citizens. Israel was the greatest nation on earth and the holy city the prized jewel of David's crown. That any king could conquer her or would even try was unthinkable. Yet it happened. Ten years prior, the city had been taken by Babylon's forces and a straw man king, Zedekiah, installed. Jeremiah could see the writing on the wall, so to speak, and prophesied the total destruction of Jerusalem along with the heart-wrenching scenes of starvation and pain as the spirit and pride is gutted from Israel's national heart. When it came to pass, it was as Jeremiah's lamenting broken heart predicted. The great city lay in ruins, including the great temple of Solomon. And it was all done with God's permission. What? The short story on the why of Jerusalem's destruction at Yahweh's direction is no different than the opening of scripture in Genesis. The city of God, like the Eden God had created for Adam and Eve, was inhabited by people who enjoyed God's blessing and then promptly forgot how they got there. The city rulers, as the garden dwellers, reached for that which didn't belong to them. In national arrogance and pride, they deemed themselves in charge, usurping a position to which they had no claim. For you today, July 4th is not far away. We celebrate independence on that day. 
Certainly, we focus on independence from an English dynasty's tyranny. But could it be that we're not much different in Washington and every other American city than the first citizens or Jerusalem's kings? History's lesson is that those who are most vulnerable are those who think themselves invincible. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.